You want to know a simple trick to make your email stand out in a crowded inbox? Emojis. I'm Eric from Stitchy Gmail, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use emojis in MailChimp to grab attention, increase engagement, and boost your email campaign's performance. Let's get started. Did you know that emails with emojis in their subject lines can see up to a 56% increase in their open rate? That is incredible. Emojis aren't just fun, they're a powerful tool for standing out in the inbox and connecting with your audience on an emotional level. Let me show you how to do it. We're going to go ahead and click on the Create button on the MailChimp homepage. We're going to go to Regular Email, go to Design Email. So once we're here, we're going to click on Add Subject to change our subject line. We're going to change the subject name to Emoji test one. I'm going to go ahead and click this smiley face plus icon. And it's going to bring up a list of emojis that we can add. So let's just say I wanted to add the uh, unsh I'm going to add the puke face, I'm going to add the smile face, I'm going to add the face with the head bandage. There we go. And then for the preview text, I'm just going to put in three different hearts. So heart, heart revolving, and then two hearts. And then we're going to click save. You can also add emojis into the email itself. You can click on design email. We're going to choose bold, click apply. If you're working on a desktop like I am, you would have to go to Emojipedia or use some sort of other way to copy the emoji in here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And then we're going to do the check mark. And then we can click on copy. Go back to our email. Click into this text box. Paste. One of the things you want to make sure of is that you always send a test email before you actually send out the campaign. The reason why is because sometimes customers cannot see the emojis. So I'm going to do is I'm going to click send a test email. So as you can see here, this email looks like it is loading correctly. The emojis are up here and the emoji is showing correctly in the body of the email. So now that we've verified that it works, we can go ahead and send this off to our customers. And hopefully the emojis will add a little bit of uh, spice to their life. You want to make sure to add emojis that relate directly to your content, like using a fire emoji for a sale or a party popper emoji for exciting announcements. But don't overdo it. One or two emojis is more than enough. MailChimp also has a built-in A-B testing feature, so you can experiment with different emojis in your subject lines to see which ones resonate more with your customers. Now that you know how to use emojis to enhance your MailChimp emails, it's time to start experimenting. Rocket emoji. If you want to dive even deeper into email marketing with some tips, tricks, and strategies, hit the link in the video description below to sign up for my free email newsletter. Thanks for watching, and remember, a little emoji can go a long way. Keep testing, keep optimizing, and watch your email engagement soar. See you in the next video.